procession heads towards the dais and please refrain from approaching the center to take photographs also requesting for your cooperation by keeping your mobiles in silent or in silent mode ladies and gentlemen we are pleased to announce the arrival of our dignitaries the dignitaries will now receive the guard of honor ladies and gentlemen the procession has begun i request the audience to kindly rise we have the band of school and college of nursing which is led by miss leya raju and miss jessica carol the band is followed by the institutional flag bearer miss rameshri assistant professor next in line a school of nursing flag bearer miss riona lobo of third year gnm leading 28 diploma graduates following them is the fathamulla college of nursing flag bearer mr abel joseph fourth year bsc nursing and vice president student nurses council leading 98 bsc nursing graduates 58 post basic bsc nursing and seven post graduates of nursing in line we have college of nursing and college of pediatrics and hearing flag bearer ms roshni de silva president student council leading 31 graduates and five post graduates in speech and hearing program following them we have the associate professors professors and the esteemed dignitaries let us remain standing as we march down the aisle as our dignitaries we have Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Santana, Bishop Mangalore Diocese, and President Father Mula Charitable Institutions. The chief guest for today's event, Dr. A. V. S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. The guest of honor for today is Professor U. T. Imtikar Farid, Principal, Dr. M. B. Shetty College of Physiotherapy, Mangalore, and Syndicate Member. Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho Director Father Mola Charitable Institutions Administrators Assistant Administrators Medical Superintendent Principals Vice Principals, Chief Nursing Officer of Father Mula Medical College Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you to kindly remain standing as our dignitaries arrive at the arena of the audience.
As our dignitaries, we have Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and President, Father Mullah Charitable Institutions. The chief guest for today's event, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. The guest of honor for today is Professor U.T. Iftika Farid, Principal, Dr. M. V. Shetty College of Physiotherapy, Mangalore, and Syndicate Member, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Reverend Father Richard Elocious Coelho, Director, Father Mullah Charitable Institutions, Administrators, Assistant Administrators, Medical Superintendent, Principals, Vice Principals, and Chief Nursing Officer of Father Mullah Medical College Hospital. We shall now have a symbolic welcome in the traditional Indian style. The Purna Kumbha Swagata performed by the students of College of Speech and Hearing. The Purna Kumbha, the pot symbolizes Mother Earth. The water symbolizes the divine essence that gives lives to all. It is a soul filled with love and compassion, abundance and hospitality. Creation is represented by the leaves and coconut is the symbol of the creator. We request the audience to continue to be standing as we invoke God's blessings with prayer song led by the students of College of Nursing.
Thank you, students. We request everyone to be seated. We are honored by the gracious presence of our dignitaries. The President, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and President, Father Mullah Charitable Institutions. The Chief Guest, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Guest of Honor, Professor U.T. Iftika Farid, Principal, Dr. M. Vishwati College of Physiotherapy, Mangalore, and Syndicate Member, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore. Reverend Father Richard Elosius Coelho, Director, Father Mullah Charitable Institutions. Reverend Father Ajit B. Minajas, Administrator, Father Mullah Medical College and College of Allied Health Sciences. Reverend Father George Ivan Sikwera, Administrator, Father Mullah Medical College Hospital. Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pais, Assistant Administrator, Father Mullah Medical College Hospital. Dr. Uday Kumar K, Medical Superintendent, Father Mullah Medical College Hospital. Reverend Sister Jacinta De Souza, Principal, School and College of Nursing. Professor Cynthia Santmayer, Principal, Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing. Dr. Agnes E.J., Vice Principal, Father Muller College of Nursing. Dr. Aju Abraham, Vice Principal, Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing. Sister Danya Devasia, Chief Nursing Officer, Medical College Hospital. Now I kindly request Reverend Sister Jacinta De Souza and Professor Cynthia Santmayor to escort the esteemed dignitaries onto the dais. The welcome address sets the tone for our celebration, offering a warm embrace to all present and marking the beginning of memorable occasion. It is a moment to reflect on our journey, acknowledge the challenges we have overcome, and celebrate the triumphs that have brought us to this significant milestone. With gratitude and anticipation, I humbly request our beloved director to deliver the welcome address and to introduce the guests. Distinguished guests, esteemed members of the governing board, management committee members, faculty, parents, guardians, precious graduates, and media friends. As we gather here today, enveloped in the warmth of these esteemed institutions, I am reminded of a profound truth encapsulated in the words of Laureen Cox. When you put love out in the world, it travels and it can touch people and reach people in ways that we never even expected. These words echo the essence of our journey in Father Mullah Charitable Institutions where for the past 144 years our purpose has been to heal, comfort, spreading joy and love. From the humble beginning of St. Joseph Leprosy Hospital to the global recognition of our holistic healing practices, we have remained steadfast in our commitment to serve with compassion and excellence. From our pioneering efforts in nursing education to the integration of homeopathy and allopathy, we have embraced innovation while staying true to our founding principles. Homeopathy, born out of 
Reverend Father Augustus Muller's profound love for humanity has not only left an indelible mark on our local community, <coughs> but also has garnered recognition on institutional and international platforms. The history of a homeopathic pharmaceutical division dates back to 1880 and homeopathic medical college to 1985. We have proudly held the torch of excellence in nursing education since the establishment of our school in 1959 and subsequent college in 1987. Our distinguished alumni have dispersed across the globe, now serving as principals in numerous nursing colleges, both locally and beyond our district's borders. Today, our institution stands as a formidable force in healthcare, boasting over 1,250 beds and holding the esteemed status of the most sought after tertiary and quaternary healthcare center. Our commitment to providing the most comprehensive, affordable, technological advanced and immaculate care has endeared us to the hearts of the undeserved in our region, evident in our staggering average of 2,000 OPD footfalls and an impressive 85% bed occupancy rate. The Padamulla Medical College Hospital stands as a testament not only to the tireless efforts of our management, but also to the dedication of every doctor, the needs of very, every patient, and the nurturing care of every nurse. To you, dear graduates, departing from your alma mater, remember the rarity of our institution's journey. The first private sector nursing school and then College of Nursing. The first mental health care unit outside the government sector. A postgraduate program before MBBS program. Today, as we stand at the threshold of another chapter in our journey, let us not forget the shoulders upon which we stand, the tireless efforts of every doctor, the tender care of every nurse, and the aspirations of every student who has walked these halls. Saint Mother Teresa and APJ Abdul Kalam, whose visits affirmed what we already knew, that this institution is a beacon of hope and healing of and a healing sanctuary for the afflicted and a testament to the power of compassion. Nurses epitomize the heart and soul of healthcare, demonstrating unparalleled cap capabilities, boundless compassion, and unwavering commitment to service. Throughout the pandemic, they have been at the forefront, providing care and comfort to those in need, often at great personal sacrifice. Their dedication knows no bounds, as they navigate through challenging circumstances, facing adversity with resilience and determination. Driven by a profound love for humanity, nurses embody the essence of selflessness, putting the well-being of others above their own. Their tireless efforts, whether administrating medication, comforting patients, or offering emotional support exemplify the true spirit of caregiving. Despite the unprecedented challenges posed by the pandemic, nurses continue to serve with grace and humility, leaving an indelible mark on the lives they touch. They are the unsung heroes deserving of our utmost admiration and gratitude. You too, Today stand at the brink of being the angels of healing and compassion. The faculty of hearing and speech
holds profound significance in the human experience, enabling communication, connection, and understanding. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verse 34, we encounter the powerful story of Jesus healing a man who was deaf and had difficulty in speaking. Jesus utters the word, epata, which means be opened, as he touches the man's ears and tongue, instantly restoring his ability to hear and speak clearly. Through the simple yet profound command of epata, Jesus not only restores the man's physical faculties, but also opens the door to a world of connection and belonging. In a similar vein, the faculty of hearing and speech holds immense significance in our lives, facilitating communication, expression, and connection with others. It serves as a conduit for sharing ideas, emotions, and experiences, enriching our relationships and fostering understanding. Just as Jesus' healing touch brought forth new possibilities for the man in the gospel, the faculty of hearing and speech empowers individuals to engage fully in the world around them, enriching their lives and the lives of those they encounter. You too should have the courage to make connectivity among the humans strong as discord and strife in is outpouring of miscommunication. As we extend a hearty welcome to our esteemed guest, I am filled with gratitude for their presence amidst us today. With this, I would like to proceed to the welcoming to, of our dignitaries. With love and honor, I extend a warm welcome to our Bishop, Bishop of Mangalore and President of Father Mullah Charitable Institutions, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, who has honored us with his esteemed presence, not only today, but even at yesterday's graduation ceremony. Thus, in spite of his administrative and pastoral work, he keeps time for our institutional activities and events. Dear Bishop, we continue to look forward to your leadership, guidance, blessings, and with much delight and appreciation, I welcome you to this graduation ceremony. And I request Assistant Administrator of Adamulla Medical College Hospital, Father Nelson, to honor our Bishop with a bouquet. It is my privilege to introduce once again our Honorable Chief Guest, a very prominent personality, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS. Dr. Ramesh Chandra is an officer of the Indian Foreign Service, 1989 batch, and is currently serving as Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. He has served in various capacities and occupied many important positions in the Government of India over past 31 years, most recently having been OSD and Acting President of South Asian University in New Delhi. Prior to this, his assignments are as follows. High Commissioner of India to Uganda and Rwanda and Ambassador to Burundi, Ambassador of India to Romania, Moldova and Albania, Senior Diplomat in Embassies of, in Turkey, Russia, Pakistan and Afghanistan, India's Delegate at the Permanent Mission of the United Nations in New York, Deputy Director General of the Indian Council of World Affairs, has been on deputation to the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in the United Nations Secretariat in New York, to the Indian Ministry of Defense, and the list goes on and on. He has done his master's degree in veterinary science, majoring in dairy technology from Andhra Pradesh Agricultural University, Hyderabad, gold medalist throughout the seven years of college studies. Dr. Chandra actively participated in various international seminars and received accolades for his outstanding contributions. He is also known for his devotion to Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai, having received the prestigious Bhagavan Satya Sai gold medal for his exemplary academic performance in the year 1988. 
with his better half, Mrs. Kathyaini Chandra. They are blessed with two daughters, a beautiful family indeed. Principal of the College of Nursing will honor our chief guest with a sapling. Please, with a big round of applause. Our esteemed guest of honor, Professor U.T. Iftikar Farid, is currently the principal, Dr. M. E. Shetty College of Physiotherapy, and the syndicate member in the illustrious Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bengaluru. A physiotherapy doctorate holder, he has been in the forefront of academic and extracurricular excellence. He has stayed true to his alma mater and is now its principal. Son of late Haji U.T. Farid, a humble former MLA of Mangalore, and the brother of the Speaker of the Karnataka Legislative Assembly, Professor U.T. Iftikar, has no air of greatness in him, but has been always humble, a friend to many. His administrative profile looms large being Syndicate member of Rajiv Gandhi University for Physiotherapy and Allied Health Sciences, Professor for Postgraduate Studies in MPT, Academic and Clinical Teaching for Undergraduate and Postgraduate Students of Physiotherapy attached to the 800-bed Government District Wenlock Hospital, Mangalore. Member of the Board of Studies in Physiotherapy in Rajiv Gandhi University for two consecutive terms undergraduate and postgraduate examiner, overseer, squad, and invigilator for examinations of Rajiv Gandhi University, inspector, Rehabilitation Council of India. As an acad academician, he has many publications to his credit, but notable in his work on pulmonary bronchitis and patella taping technique. Moreover, being member of the academic body of Yanobaya deemed to be university, governing board of Karnachur Islamic Trust and PA Educational Trust. He has met the who's who of prominence and dined with political leaders of national and international stature. He is a symbol of exuberance, steadfastness and fidelity. His unwavering love for his subject and students have catapulted him to the larger stage. He has organized many conferences, his brainchild being the Mangalore Physiocon, bringing delegates from all over India and even the international academia to the city of Mangalore. To summarize him, I would like to say, a well-traveled, a well-mannered, a maverick, a capable leader, an altruistic, a noble, that humble being is what is Professor Iftikar Farid. Principal of the College of Fadamullah College will honor our guest with a sapling. To the members of our governing board, the pillars of our institutions, and the dedicated faculty who shape the minds of tomorrow, I express my deepest appreciation for your unwavering support and guidance. I acknowledge the presence of the management committee members, members of the Fadamullah Centenary Charitable Society, administrators, assistant administrators, dean, principals, religious sisters, advisory committee members, to the accompanying government officials, faculty of all our colleges of Fadamullah Charitable Institutions, all civil and administrative security personnel who have helped us and been with us at every need, print and electronic media for your unwavering support and to the graduates for being our ambassadors and apple of the eye today, a hearty welcome to all of you. And to the beloved parents and guardians entrusted with care and upbringing of, your, of our graduates, 
I extend my immense gratitude for your faith in our institution and your invaluable role in shaping the future generations. Hearty welcome to all of you. And to you, dear graduates, poised on the brink of a new beginning, remember that you are not only the ambassadors of this institution, but the torch bearers of hope and healing in a new world that yearns for compassion and kindness. I would like to express my prayer for you through the words of St. Paul in the letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, saying, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we embark on this journey together, let us be guided by the light of our shared purpose to heal, to comfort, and to spread joy. Have a very pleasant evening, and once again, a hearty welcome to all of you, and may God bless us. Thank you. A total of 650 students are studying in JNM, BSc, PBBSc, and MS Nursing courses for the year 2024. We also have one PhD scholar enrolled this year. Faculty in News. Ms. Sandra Jyoti Saldana was selected as member of RGHS Faculty of Nursing. Sister Judy, Professor and HOD, won second prize for scientific oral paper in the six nursing sciences and healthcare international virtual conference in Jakarta, Indonesia, and best poster award for the scientific poster in an international workshop. Ms. Juby Joseph won second prize for the scientific paper in the national conference. Dr. Agnes E.J., Professor and Vice Principal, won first prize for a scientific oral paper in an international conference. Ms. Lavina Rodriguez was awarded first place for scientific oral paper in an international e-conference and exemplary researcher award on research, research day celebration at FMCon. Dr. Shiji PJ was certified as national mentor cum trainer for the CHO mentoring program by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, New Delhi. Ms. Rina Wilma Frank, Ms. Shaisil Matthew, Ms. Josmita Maria de Souza, and Ms. Sonia Karin Sequeira were awarded PhD from different universities. Congratulations to you, dear faculty. We are proud of you. Mr. Ashwin Bromio J was nominated as for preparation of blueprint question paper bank along the other curricular activities related task by the RGHS. Ms. Ramyashri S. has won first place in a poster presentation at a national conference. Professor Wilma Shalini Norona and Professor Helen Claret de Souza won second prize in poster making competition at a national conference. Sister Jacinta de Souza was honored by the Vice Chancellor Dr. M. K. Ramesh, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences on National Teachers' Day for the year 2023. Dr. Sasikumar Yes has been shortlisted to serve as part of the peer team for the assessment of universities and colleges by NAC. Five faculty have completed online courses with certification on 10 topics. 10 faculty were resource persons for 15 various conferences and seminars. Five faculty published papers on indexed and web of science and scopus. Eleven presented scientific papers or posters, and over 35 national and international conferences and seminars were attended by 25 faculty. Five faculty are BLS instructors, nine ENLS instructors. At present, nine faculty are PhD scholars under different universities and Four were awarded PhD in the year 23-24. Important events held during the academic year. The graduation ceremony for the outgoing batches for the year 21-22 
was celebrated on 1st April 2023. Professor Prasanna Kumar O, Nurse Registrar, Karnataka Nursing Council, Bangalore, was the chief guest, and Professor Dr. Roy K. George, National President for Trained Nurses Association of India, was the guest of honor. Guest lecture on gender responsive approach to innovation, technology, and digital education. Street play on campaign against cancer. Ignite 2K23 annual athletic meet. Nurses Day celebration and Cultural Fest Trident 2023. Study skill and relationship management, the secret of happiness in life. Breastfeeding week was celebrated from 1st August 2023 onwards. The parent teacher student meeting and a session on fostering learning environment. Simulation based workshop on Criticare Obigain. Career Guidance Counseling Program for outgoing batches on the topic, Your Focus, Your Future. A workshop on mentoring skills. Seminar on striving for equality, gender and psychosocial perspective. Implemented exit examinations for the outgoing batch of BSc Nursing Program for the first time. Nutrition Day was organized. Session on Anti-Drug Awareness Program. Workshop on qualitative analysis for the faculty members. Farewell program, ADU 2K23 for the outgoing students. The college magazine, Muller Spring 22-23, with the theme Zafar, the gentle breeze, was released by our director. Session on Youth for Democracy. Workshop on the essentials of teaching in nursing education for faculty. Lamp lighting and oath taking ceremony. The Swachh Bharat Club and Institutional Values and Best Practices Committee, in association with COdP, Mangalore, initiated a project for reducing waste plastics by remodeling them into useful commodity to construct eco bench. The collected two-liter plastic bottles were stuffed with the dry plastics. The first 60 bottles completed were utilized to construct the eco bench at a park in Mangalore. Mop-up program was conducted on the trial basis for different batches of students. Other than the above mentioned, five workshops, 10 radio and health awareness programs, five guest lectures, 10 seminars, exhibitions, street plays, PTA meetings, orientation programs for the freshers, school health programs, Christmas celebration, Teacher's Day, Yoga, Women's Day, and many more were, were organized during the year. Our faculty look into holistic development of students using variety methods of teaching, lab demonstrations, clinical teaching, and simulations, and do everything that they can for the good of their students. Dear faculty, you are truly worthy of praise. Thank you very much. <laughs> students in news. Ms. Clarita Joylin Lobo and Sister Sumita Fernandez MSc nursing students received research grants of, from Father Mulla Research Center. Ms. Alita Sweeney Saldana received the best paper award for the scientific research project. The students won runner-up in the RGHS Intercollegiate Volleyball and Tenicoid Tournament 2023. Mr. J.C. Souza represented the state and national athletic meet and secured gold medal in the 100 meters and also he with Mr. Abel Joseph, Mr. Alan Gomes, Mr. Josephin Astley Pinto secured gold medal at a state level and silver medal in 4 into 100 relay in national level held at Tyagaraja Sports Complex, New Delhi. Ms. Dina Alicia Lobo, third year B.Sc. nursing student, was selected to represent RGHS in South Zone Inter-University Volleyball Tournament for Women 23-24 which was held at Tirupati. Mr. Lester Seven Lobo, third year BSc nursing student, is awarded large silver medal in the 13th state level philatelic exhibition on stamp collection held at Sri Kantirava Indoor Stadium, Bangalore. Our college band has added grandeur to all our programs. Research. Research day was celebrated 
an exemplary researcher award for faculty was given. Faculty and students, both UG and PG, undertake research projects. At present, a total of four faculty projects, 13 PG projects, and 30 UG projects are going on. 24 projects have been completed. NSS. The NSS unit has been actively involved in various social awareness and community engagement initiatives throughout the year 2023. They participated in rallies, walkathons, and conferences organized by District Legal Services Authority and Rescue Charitable Trust to address issues such as child labor prevention and substance abuse prevention. Collaborated with organizations like UNICEF and RGHS Bangalore to organize routine immunization awareness programs and initiatives promoting healthy living. Alumni. The annual general body meeting was held. A seminar on fostering a learning environment was organized and new office bearers were elected, Dr. Shiji PJ being the president. A workshop on inspire, integrate, and innovate was conducted. During this event, PhD achievers were fel felicitated and mementos were given to all teachers. Share and Care Christmas program for the inmates of Home for the Aged at Kadaba Puttur. Reunion of BSC Nursing 1992-1996, a total of 18 alumni currently working in India and abroad visited the institution. They also contributed rupees 1,25,000 towards students' awards. Conclusion. As I conclude this brief report, we want to sincerely thank God Almighty for his continuous grace upon us, blessings through Reverend Father Augustus Muller, and in very special way, our beloved bishop, our director, administrators, and all in the management who take best decisions for the good of the college, faculty, and students. I am sincerely grateful to my entire faculty who work with me hand in hand and are a strong pillar of support in all the activities of the college and institutions. My sincere thanks to my office staff for their unstinted support in carrying out my responsibility. Thank you, dear students, for giving life to the college, your availability and generosity, and for being an inspiration to us all. And you, dear graduates, you are our ambassadors. The college and this institution have given you the best. Live your values and be successful in your life. Thanks to all parents of the graduates, alumni, and our well-wishers for your support and blessings. In one word, thanks to each and every one of you who help us to go forward with confidence. May the legacy of Father Muller live on. Thanks, Galore. Thank you, sister. May I now cordially invite Professor Cynthia Santmayor, Principal, College of Speech and Hearing, to present the annual report for the year 2023. Reach high. For stars lie hidden in your soul. Dream deep, for every dream leads the goal. Respected President, Honorable Chief Guest, Guest of Honor, all the dignitaries on the days and of the days, I am happy to present the annual report of Fadamula College for the academic year 2023-24. Fadamula College, a unit of Fadamula Charitable Institution, since its inception in 2007, is steadily climbing the ladder of success and has efficaciously completed 17 years. The college provides four years program, Bachelor in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, and two specialties, postgraduate program in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology. This college is recognized by the Rehabilitation Council of India and is permanently affiliated to Mangalore University. The college provides an excellent state-of-the-art infrastructure with qualified faculty in spe each specialty for the curriculum transaction. To confabulate 
on the academic achievements of the college. Here are the highlights of the results. Third year BASLP 100%, second year BASLP 94%, first year BASLP 79%, MSc Audiology and MSc Speech Language Pathology both 100% results. The students have been bagging university ranks in the past years continuously. This year, the ranks are yet to be announced by the university. Specific happenings. Professor Akhilesh PM headed the college for 12 years and the college bid farewell to him for his excellent leadership and guidance. Professor Cynthia Santamayon, myself, was appointed as principal on 17th April 2023 and Dr. Adju Abraham as the vice principal of the college. The services of our college were extended to Father Miller Hospital, Tumbe, the newly constructed, well-equipped center for diagnostics and rehabilitation of speech and hearing disorders was inaugurated on 1st May 2023 by our director. Offline and online campus recruitment was held from 2nd May to 5th May. 12 companies came forward to recruit both UG and PG students in the placement drive. I am proud to say that all our outgoing students got selected in the first selection round. Congratulations to all those who bear the name of Adamula College and are spreading the fragrance everywhere. Departmental activities of Adamula College. The graduation ceremony for the year 2023 was held along with Father Miller Medical College. Scholarship award ceremony was organized for the students. Excellence award ceremony was conducted. Career guidance and study abroad seminar was given to the students. BCLS training program was organized for all the outgoing students, both UG and PG. Course inauguration for the 17th batch of BASLP, 4th batch of MSc Audiology and MSc Speech Language Pathology was held. Student Council inauguration was organized and Ms. Roshini Dasalva was elected as the President of the Student Council. Departmental extracurricular activities. The annual cultural fest Dwani was held in the month of May 2023. Momentum, the annual athletic and sport event, was, was organized along with Father Muller College of Nursing. Freshers Day BNL was celebrated. Mangalore University Intercollegiate Badminton Tournament for men and women was held and organized by our college. Camps and awareness programs were held throughout the year. Speech and hearing camps on the campus in honor of World Hearing Day, Learning Disability Screening Camp at St. Raymond's School in Vamanjur, Speech and Hearing Screening Camp at Gandhinagar Urva Mangalore, other celebrations on the occasion of the department, World Hearing Day on 17th April 2023, World Autism Day, World Voice Day, Blood Donation Camp, where 27 of our faculty and students donated their blood, Children's Day celebration for speech therapy children and AVT training children was organized. 30 children along with their parents participated in the event. Parents expressed their gratitude for the services at Father Muller College in the speech therapies department. Audiologist Day was celebrated. A quiz was organized for the UG and PG student, and the winners were given prizes. A two-day national conference, Focus 3, was organized on 1st and 2nd December 2023. 43 research papers were presented, along with brainstorming sessions, both from national and international speakers. Faculty development programs were conducted throughout the year. Three staff members received training for trainers of simulation-based learning sponsored by the institution. 
all the staff received basic life saving jeeva raksha training awareness on drug abuse was held six grade one staff attended the certificate training program on teaching skill for facilitating learning conducted by the institution student development program was held library orientation program hospital infection control program and fire and safety training program gender sensitization program for the student faculty in news professor cynthia santamayor participated and became the member of course coordinators of southern zone organized by rehabilitation council of india she was elected as the chairperson for bos and boe of the mangalore university for msc speech language pathology she had also been appointed as examiner in manipal university enapoya university sumandeep university gujarat and nitta university she has been the resource person for national and international seminars dr deepak p became the phd guide under mahe university he received the external grant project for developing regional database for persons with aphasia he became the resource person for the national conferences dr usha m completed an advanced mountaineering course from nehru institute of mountaineering uttarkashi dehradun she had been the resource person during the national conferences she has also been the bos of baslp and boe for post graduation program ms lakshmi became the resource person for a series of lectures at christ deemed to be university delhi she has also been enrolled as a phd student under mahe university awards and achievements to students best paper award was awarded to ms diona michael and anushka best paper award was given to ms deslin sara george and sister jasna jos best paper award was given to ms anisha michael sequera and janin disosa under different national and international seminars a team of fathamilla college participated in the eastern group singing category at national levels held at st john's medical college bangalore named autumn muse 2023 and st john's st joseph's engineering college mangalore tiara 2023 the group successfully won first place in both the places research activities a total of 11 publications from the faculty in various indexed scopus journals 24 pg dissertations 34 minor projects by the interns and 12 projects by the faculty were completed during the year 2023 a government funded extramural project is also ongoing in speech and language department under the leadership of dr deepak p over 50 oral and post papers were presented by staff and student in national and international conferences seminars and workshops seven faculty members were the resource persons for the seminars conferences and also chaired the scientific sessions during the different seminars and workshops held throughout the country all the staff participated in different conferences seminars and workshops throughout the year in conclusion despite the hurdles posed by the post pandemic we had a successful academic program all these achievements were possible because of the collective efforts by the ever supportive management under the leadership of our bishop director administrators and the untiring efforts of my colleagues and supportive staff and the interesting and enthusiastic students i thank god almighty for bestowing his choices blessings on us throughout the academic year 2023 I thank everyone who have supported us directly or indirectly to achieve excellence. I look forward to the same in the coming years too to reach greater heights. A word of appreciation to my outgoing batch, the stars of today, the graduates. I am sure that you have already brought laurels to our institution by becoming the best 
uh, interns in different uh, internship centers that you are there. I congratulate you and I wish you all the best for your future that you would shine ever greatly and become a speech and hearing professional bringing liveliness, happiness and meaning to the lives of those who are underprivileged. Thank you one and all. Thank you, ma'am. Distinguished guests, faculty members, graduates, and their proud parents, it is with great honor and privilege that we welcome our esteemed chief guest for today's ceremony, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra. We are extremely fortunate to have you here today. Over to you, sir. Twin characteristics in your personality will be love and compassion. Not all uh, pursuing a profession uh, have these two as key requirements to be able to progress in your professional career. And India today probably should be ranking among the top five countries globally. And you must uh, uh, go with a sense of pride uh, when you uh, when you're acknowledged as uh, being among the top five countries globally, producing the best nurses and providing the best care, post-operative included. I foresee, uh, already in the last 10 years, I think, if you look at the statistics of uh, uh, medical care globally, um, India is increasingly a destination for uh, uh, ameliorative uh, care. Uh, several cities uh, all over India are sought after destinations for post-operative care and not just because of the cost of post-operative care. May I stress that factor? It is not just the costs, it is the quality of the professional care that is uh, being provided and therefore when the principal of the College of Nursing uh, uh, told me about the ranking received by uh, the Father Muller's uh, 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 charitable institutions. Uh, um, it gave me immense happiness to know the high ranking that the uh, both the faculty members and uh, the students uh, have uh, achieved over these past years. May I request the audience to uh, uh, join me in giving a round of applause. <clears throat> Um, it is also, I think, uh, 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 when it comes to uh, the school of um, uh, speech and uh, hearing therapies, uh, autism, unfortunately, is a reality of today. We thought uh, uh, autism was a disease out there in the West, uh, uh, along with uh, baldness, uh, 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 and for us, it was more serious ailments like mal malaria and uh, cough and fever and so on and so forth and we I remember working in in the United Nations Secretariat as India's delegate and urging for less spending from the United Nations on for handling uh, baldness and uh, uh, obesity and instead concentrating on third world diseases we were battling uh, uh, with the vaccine for malaria we were battling I'm talking about two decades ago but uh, nevertheless, I think the focus uh, of developing countries as part of the G77, the group of uh, uh, 133 countries belonging to the Southern Hemisphere, our challenges uh, have been and will continue to be over the foreseeable two or three decades to be of um, uh, a type slightly different from that in the advanced world. Be that as it may, I think I must congratulate uh, 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 the faculty members um, uh, and the students uh, from both colleges for all the distinctions that uh, have been achieved and I'm sure this will be a continuing process. Being in the foreign service and having served as ambassador um, in, in um, uh, uh, Romania uh, prior to that having been high commissioner in Uganda and being accredited uh, to two other countries having served in Turkey uh, during 2010. It is um, very easy these days to fall prey to 
all kinds of racketeers. I would urge you all to be in the service of the country first. You have learnt excellent, thank you very much, you have learnt excellent theoretical aspects of nursing. Kindly make it a point, and this is a word of caution also to the parents of the students who are uh, graduating today. Um, there is a need for you all to further finesse the practical aspects of nursing, the practical aspects of providing care to those in need. And there's no shortage of those, uh, of, the, of the numbers of people in need of your services within the country, within the state to start with. So please focus on the skills, how to upgrade your skills further. This is a age of uh, artificial intelligence and generative artificial intelligence. Unless you are uh, up to it in terms of technological capacities and capabilities, you will stand to lose out one day or the other. When it comes to uh, uh, speech and hearing, same thing. The kind of advances uh, in India Unless you are, you are, you know, uh, up to it, unless you are able to master the existing range of uh, techniques, you will not be able to uh, uh, progress further in life. I am not for a second suggesting that please do not go abroad, you, you know, be under house arrest in India. No, far from that. But please do be careful. Do uh, uh, concentrate on the type of organizations that you'll be working for, pick and choose. Having uh, been uh, ambassador in Europe, I have uh, personally seen numerous, uh, numerous instances of youngsters, young girls uh, of in impressionable age being duped, being brought under uh, fictitious documents, having um, signed and in fact, the parents of, of those students have signed up as well to terms and conditions that were not met subsequently. So unless you are careful, you are uh, uh, sort of exposing yourself to problems and uh, uh, exposing others to problems and creating problems for people like me. Please don't do that. Um, on, a, on a more positive note, uh, uh, this is, uh, these are very challenging times. Uh, I must uh, tell you, uh, when I joined the Foreign Service 35 years ago, we didn't have the kind of uh, uh, gadgets and tools, science, technology and innovation that uh, is today available to you. I did uh, touch upon that uh, yesterday when I uh, spoke to uh, uh, the 500 or so uh, uh, graduates who uh, uh, took their degrees uh, with so much pride. Um, First and foremost, I think uh, you should be grateful uh, for your teachers who have, who have uh, made you all what you all are today and what you are going to be uh, with passage of time. In less than 10 years time, I'm sure your parents will be very, very proud of your achievements. Um, and I'll, uh, I remain very hopeful that all of you all collectively will pay tributes to your parents who are seated uh, out there as soon as you receive uh, uh, your degrees and uh, many of your gold medals. All those trophies are waiting for you uh, uh, to be uh, lifted. I'm sure it, it's meant very, very hard work. Be proud of yourself. Uh, uh, believe in uh, the existence of a higher force uh, uh, is a must. Um, be uh, should realize that even the collective uh, power, political, economic, cultural, uh, and otherwise, of the richest uh, uh, 10 countries in the world or richest 20 countries in the world, um, if they all come together and convalesce at a single point, they are inadequate to make this little flower blossom. They are inadequate to determine a shift in the time of the sunrise or the time of sunset 
by a minute. So there is something out there, uh, which in the West, you have called it, you know, may the force be with you. Um, in our own way, we, uh, we are among the uh, most ancient civilizations globally, uh, with thousands of years of recorded history. Do uh, please um, have faith, because faith heals. On that note, may I, your Lordship, uh, uh, end my presentation here. I would hope I have not been rude. Um, I have uh, just been uh, uh, concerned that there is a need to exercise caution while accepting a job that is very well paying. Uh, and finally, I will sort of end with where I began. Uh, nursing is an area, or even for that matter, speech uh, therapy and hearing therapy. Uh, uh, these are areas which invariably need love, compassion, kindness on uh, uh, your part because no one is better equipped than you are in being able to deliver this kind of service. God bless. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring and thoughtful message. The guest of honor of today's event is an educationist and social activist and holds a syndicate member position at Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Professor U.T. Iftikar Farid is here with us today and may I now request you, sir, to address the gathering and share your thoughts with us. Good evening, one and all. Respected His Excellency, Bishop of Manglo, Father Peter Paul Saldana, sir. Respected to this guest, was a prominent IFS officer, Dr. Ramesh Chandra, sir. Our guide, our mentor, Father Richard, sir. Father Ajit, sir. Jacinta, madam. Cynthia, madam. Father Nelson, Father Jeevan, sir. Agnes, ma'am. Then Danya, ma'am. Uday, sir and Abraham sir, and teaching faculty members, all the respected head of the institutions, all the different faculties, and you parents who has brought you here and you graduate, star of today, the graduates. Normally when Father Richard sir called me to call as guest of honor, as Charishma, the principal of the faculty knows, I try to avoid all the stages and uh, all the functions where I try to go, I try to avoid. This time this father was made sure that one was, it was for speech and hearing and nursing and uh, our excellently Lordship uh, Bishop sir will be there. And no reason to give uh, any reason to Father Richard sir. But today what he told about me was little more I told to Father also. I'm very small and I try to be on the backstage always. <clears throat> but today seeing the, the way I saw your band of the nursing college and uh, when I saw the welcome of that from speech and college I told uh, His Excellency Sir Father also I remembered my college old days of St. Aloysius when I studied when I had my fathers like uh, Father Nelapati, Father uh, Roni Prabhu who was a rector those days I remember those days coming to uh, Father Muller's today Father. the main thing was not that uh, the discipline what we learn today, including me, my, my brother Kadir, or my father, Farid sir, all we have studied from the convent institutions like Father Mullis and Father St. Aloysius. And wherever we go, we talk about these institutions ran by the uh, Reverend Fathers. So I'm not going to talk much today, but I need to talk a few things about education when it comes to speech therapy, audiology, and uh, nursing. These are two things where I always in my university I fight for. And always have discussions with uh, uh, Father Ajit sir and uh, uh, Father Richard sir when it comes to allied science, physical therapy, speed therapy and uh, nursing. They were zero representative in the university. They were only medical, dental, pharmacy, Ayurveda and naturopathy as a representation to university. I was the first member in 2013 when I got as a physical therapist uh, representative to syndicate and senate that I brought up the allied courses and uh, nursing courses to a uh, streamlining getting to all the faculty members and uh, deans and awards to on the teachers days 
getting reckoned that equal partner in healthcare a concept called in the university. Even tomorrow, I can tell, even Jacinta Ma'am could have been the vice chancellor. But anyway, today was our last graduation day. In fact, he is going to retire this year. So anyway, university has given the, before retirement, university, we gave her one academic council member. But if, unfortunately, she can be only for a month as a member. I request ma'am to accept that for one month, then you retire. Then, uh, then I request all the stars of today, you graduates, uh, please stand and give a stand ovation for parents sitting behind you. I request all the graduates and the teachers who are sitting in front of you, all because of them you are here and all because of them are teaching faculty members. You are going back as a superhero graduates today. Please sit. Thank you. The reason is you are not finished your graduation today because some of your performers, if you perform, you are recognized. You are recognized, you are, pow you are powerful. The, unless you perform, you are, you are very less to get recognized. So I always tell you are today, you are maybe BSc nursing, you may be GNM, the oldest college 60 years back, BSc 30 years back, and speech engineering 15 to 17 years. So the BSc graduates see that you do MSc and PhD, and GNM you see that you do PSc and MSc and PhD, and BSLP you see that you do MSLP and PhD. The reason why I'm telling you is, I also was studying when undergraduate studies, I thought why I should do masters and doctorate. Then when I got into academics, I knew the importance of this doctorate and masters. Wherever you go in this world, it's very important. See, I have an experience of my father, Farid, when he was an MLA, he had a stroke and he had lost, he, had, he was hemiplegia. He lost speech and he lost one side, or right side. So then we started a college called Nasima College of Speech Editing called Naish, that's my mother in Bangalore in a, in a, in a memory. I lost my mother also. So that's my family college called Nasima College and even nursing college. They were COVID warriors. We used to have a fleet of flights going to Dubai, UAE, where, where the nursing also played a major role in COVID time. Not COVID, and all, the, all the time. So I always fight in the university with the doctors and other dental faculty. We are, actually we should treat as the number one as in healthcare because we give all the primary tertiary treatment to all the therapy. So when it comes to the institution, Father Mullahs, whenever the, my wife, Anjum, she studied her MBBS here, she did her master's, then she did her MCH, and now she's a gynae onco surgeon head of the department in Tata Unified you know, Hospital. So I was telling her today when I was getting out to uh, uh, Father Mullahs, I told her I have to be on time. Father has told me at 3 o'clock, then Avinash is coordinating, Cynthia Mam is coordinating. So I need to be 10 minutes early then, where it was like my college days, so getting ready today for Father Mullah's program. Normally other colleges we get late, half an hour, 30 minutes, not in Father Mullah's at least, I thought. <laughs> so, so it was like a family home today for me. So I was telling uh, uh, Father, this is our uh, fasting time. I was telling our Excellency, our fasting time, so we're not supposed to eat, but anyway, Father with a great heart is hosting a iftar on 27th of this month. Uh, His Excellency is hosting iftar this month in the same uh, Father Mullah's Convention Center. So you fellow students, graduates, I see that, uh, I want to talk about one or two alma maters. I told about my wife and my cousin, Sana. If you Google on Instagram, you can see a clinic called the Therapy Clinic or Speech Clinic. She studied from speech and hearing. I was one who sent her here to study speech and hearing. If you see her in, that, in Dubai, in healthcare city, she has 32 treating rooms in a clinical center. 32. Unimaginable. Almost 20 therapists, OT, PT, speech, physios in a clinic. Autism case, as our chief guest told today, autism has become a biggest uh, challenge in our profession. So you speed therapy, don't underestimate yourself. You have a lot of scope abroad, Indian also. As Sir said, be careful in applying. From speed therapy, you may land it as a reception also. Uh, because he knows his experience being in a foreign affairs. As nursing, I don't need to talk more because I'm very sure the job is not at all a uh, uh, tough task for you all. Tomorrow you apply institution, hospital, clinics, abroad, uh, US, UK, MLEs, you are always done. So I'm not going to talk much again because I like to be more on informal talk, not on the formal level. But when the people like dais, like IFS officers, bishops sitting in the dais, I'm not in much in a position to talk. So I wish you graduates the best of luck. You mind the shining colors. 
and anything from the university, Rajukan University, I've told sir today, I've told Father Ajit, the terminology of uh, allied science is going to get changed. We are, we are out from uh, the Ministry of uh, Social Justice and Empowerment for Speech and Hearing. Or anymore, we'll be in health, health ministry because there's a new council coming as uh, National Allied Health Council in India. And very soon in the state, we're going to commit on June of this month. Same thing in the nursing, you know, you have Indian Nursing Council. So you both are happy, more than nurse, physiotherapy, other people, because you have got a monitoring body with you all. And now this time, nursing has given a feather on cap of Adamulus. They have more than 1,000 bedded, so they will have 250 intake in nursing. So I wish you all the best. Thank you for inviting me, Father. Thank you, Bishop, sir, for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir, for your meaningful thoughts and words of wisdom. We have among us a charismatic leader who speaks inspiring words of wisdom with conviction, who is none other than the president of this institution and the president of this graduation ceremony. May I now request a beloved bishop to deliver the presidential address. Respected Director Father Richard Coelho, the Chief Guest of the Day, Mr. Ramesh Chandra, and the Guest of Honor, Professor UT Iftiar Parid, the administrators, the principals, assistant administrators, nursing superintendents, assistant nursing superintendents, dignitaries on the days and off the days, the faculty, graduates, parents, family members, and well-wishers. At the outset, I congratulate all the graduates of the College's Speech and Hearing and Nursing College as well as School of Nursing. Nursing is considered as a noble profession about which you have already heard and I'm sure during your classes you have heard it in plenty. Compassion means kumpati, kumpatire is to suffer with, to suffer with, that you are Showing compassion means you are ready to suffer with the patient who suffers and to empathize, to empathy, which is more than sympathy, where you are ready to raise up the person from his uh, difficult situation. These two virtues are very critical, compassion and empathy, and they also mentioned about love. And these will go along, and I also am sure the College of Speech and Hearing will have similar necessities as you meet the people with a lot of disabilities. They are very important virtues that we have and that makes us what we are. When a nurse cares for the patient and for that matter even a professional of speech and hearing, three things are very essential body posture, eye contact, and a smile. Simple human resources, but very essential, other than the skills that we acquire, the knowledge we have, but the way you look at the person with an eye-to-eye -eye contact, the body posture that indicates that you are interested in the person, and the smile that you are very receptive. These are very important. Smile does not cost us anything, but it brings enormous benefits to the patient as well as to the nurse or to the professional. Practicing the art of smiling while serving others is important to make this profession noble in the real sense of the term. I remember some of the speeches of Mother Teresa and some of the quotes, sometimes she narrates in her private letters and the speeches also, that how smile is important. She herself was trained in nursing care for three months after she came out of the Loretta convent. She went to a hospital college 
for a three months uh, training in nursing and with that she started picking up patients or people from the destitute from the roadside taking them to the home that three months training was sufficient for her but then she had a large heart and she learned every day from the people she brought in she was telling her sisters who joined her in this service smile and make others smile if somebody does not smile make that person smile and everybody must smile come be my light is a book that was published posthumously after her death which has got all her private letters and the darkness she underwent in taking care of the sick neglected sometimes abandoned and sometimes really not understood people called her different names in giving this nursing care but then she said i have decided to have a smile come what may at all times have a smile husbands have smile for your wives she said and wives have smile for your husbands every time she talked to the professionals great people but she said how powerful the smile is you will never see a mother teresa's photo with a morose long face it's always a smiling face because it was a decision to smile we may be having our own inner tension turmoil family issues bickering problems the burden of our daily life but then our spirit is free we can still decide that the external or internal factors do not determine my decision to smile at the other and for a medical profession both nursing or the speech and hearing for that matter any other one to one dealing professions this has a huge dividend so she says beautifully peace begins with a smile smile five times a day to someone you really don't want to smile at at least five times you have to smile at the person you don't like to look at that way you can bring peace one day i tried to check whether it works well i was uh, uh i wanted uh something to be done by a person he was very angry for the way i dealt with him previously later on uh, next time i went again to that person smiled at him i asked how is he and then he smiled in return and asked what can i do for you and things change even if the person walking on the road side and you don't know that person you give a simple gentle smile the person will look at you give a smile perhaps utter a word and go ahead and these are possible this is a magnetic spirit that is we have within us and we radiate that love through a blooming smile nurses and uh, speech and hearing professionals remember even the blind who have not seen a smile yet they know how to smile look at uh, some of the great people helen keller is a name we often hear but the people uh, who have not seen any smile and the effect of smile but they do smile because it is innate that is within them and that brings us lot of healing when people complain about a hospital's quality they say they often speak about nursing care nursing care is good or bad if the nursing care is good excellent when the nurses attend on them listen to me the other day i was just visiting a few patients in the hospital I said thank god i came here they said thank god what a wonderful care you have given me so the quality of the hospital is known by the way you dear nurses deal with the patients and that you bring real laurels and credibility to our institution here and wherever you are so you should wear a smile together with the professional dress you go professionally keep your head high but also have something to give a blooming smile some people know how to smile through the eyes contracting the eyes and they, they say smile through the eyes not merely through the lips it's very unique to learn all these uh, skills have positive feelings when you smile 
and you bring positive ripples in the heart of the others. It builds confidence and enhances self-esteem, conveys unconditional positive regard to patient and their colleagues, creates good first-hand impression, conveys confidence and positivity, instills hope and mutual feeling of trust. People feel comfortable around the nurse who smiles receives others' cooperation for the treatment and procedure. Sometimes some resist. They are afraid of the needle or they are afraid of some other procedure. But when you smile, talk nicely, things become different. It brings more satisfaction and patient becomes very collaborative. Therefore, as a conclusion, we have these innate powers the human powers, I call them spiritual powers because we are spiritual beings, we are spiritual realities. Communicate that power that is within you when you meet each and every one. Let your eyes, let your face show that you really mean smile. Even if it's a fake smile, even that has a effect. It may be a fake, you may not have really liked to smile, but still you give a smile, I'm sure, it has a positive effect. I don't say you have to fake a smile, but then it has an effect. So, other than the medicine that you administer, the injections you give, you bind the wounds, everything can be done differently and that will bring the quality of the hospital. Institution will get a name. You will also be treated gently, lovingly and people will love you, admire you, remember you always. God bless you. Congratulations once again, parents, teachers, especially the faculty and all of you, dear students. God bless you. Thank you, Your Lordship, for your warm words and blessings. And now, for the most awaited part of today's ceremony is honoring the graduates as the degrees are bestowed on them. They will soon leave the alma mater for delivering quality health care to the suffering humanity. A humble request to all the audience to refrain from approaching the dais, which may obstruct the proceedings of this function. An official photographer is assigned for the photo coverage of the entire program. Thank you. We begin with the graduation ceremony of School of Nursing. A kind note to the graduates, as your names are being called, I request you to enter the stage from the same side you are seated and go back to your seat from the center stage. May I now invite Ms. Vidya Mohan, Assistant Lecturer, to present the Diploma Holders of General Nursing and Midwifery. I kindly request our Chief Guest and Guest of Honor to present the certificates to our graduates. Good evening, one and all. I'm happy to announce the list of General Nursing and Midwifery graduates. Ms. Adeline Irel Pereira, Ms. Alina Mariam Shaji. Mr. Alan Romy, Ms. Alfonsa Joseph. Ms. Anisha Principita de Sosa, Mr. Blaston Sequera. Ms. Bernie Sabu, Ms. Deepika. Ms. Dolan Roy, Ms. Elizabeth Lalu. Ms. Elsa Job, Ms. Flavita De Souza. Ms. Janice, Ms. Janisha Pavitra Lobo. Mr. Joel De Souza, Ms. Josh Joshel De Souza.
Mr. Jocelyn Asti Pinto, Ms. Lenisha Dikona. Ms. Linisha Disosa, Ms. Preeti Jovita Krasta. Ms. Rima Disosa, Ms. Rishel Nivita Disosa. Ms. Ria Rujwal Pirera, Ms. Sahana. Ms. Shraddha, Ms. Shushmita Dizoza. Mr. Hrithik Rana, Ms. Nishtita Bekal. Thank you, Ms. Vidya. Thank you. We now continue the certificate presentation to the guardians of BSc Nursing and I request Ms. Ramyashri, Assistant Professor, to introduce the graduates. Also request our Chief Guest and Guest of Honor to present the certificate to graduates. Warm good evening to the August gathering. I am delighted to announce the graduates of BSc Nursing. Ms. Arati Yil, Ms. Abita Jos. Ms. Akila Jojun, Ms. Alina Jins. Ms. Alina Saju, Ms. Alina Anna Sanni. Ms. Alita Sweeney Saldana, Mr. Alan Vijay Rodriguez. Ms. Alphonse Pia, Ms. Amita Yes. Ms. Anita Maria Johnny, Ms. Anisha Prima de Souza. Ms. Anit El Sakurian, Ms. Anju Andrews. Ms. Ann Maria Benito, Ms. Ann Maria Sebastian. Ms. Ann Mary, Ms. Anupasibi. Ms. Anushri Kevi, Ms. Arunima Zakaria. Ms. Ashley Matthew, Ms. Benita Selma Ferravo. Ms. Bibi Suveda Sidhubadi, Ms. Carol Tess Joe. Ms. Chester Anna Sunil, Ms. Krishal Vinisha Disoza. Mr. Dion Walshun Moras, Ms. Dia Yam. Ms. Dona Benny, Ms. Dona Joby. Ms. Dona Maria George, Ms. Edlin Disoza. Ms. Elvisha Rishal Tauro, Ms. Emlyn Biju. Ms. Emmy Rose Joe, Ms. Felsita De Silva. Ms. Flevita Anusha De Souza, Ms. Princel Norona.
Miss Princeita de Souza, Mr. Ganesh. Miss Gloria Selinci Rafael, Miss Grace L B. Miss Harsha Anna Thomas, Miss Helen Bobby. Miss Helena Thomas, Miss Irene Shaju. Miss Eileen Susan Alex, Miss Janet Ann James. Miss Jessel Prathvi Menezes, Miss Joanne Mary Joshi. Miss Josna Manoj, Miss Lavina Ivina De Souza. Miss Lima Sabu Kadavil, Miss Lush Lishmita Laurel De Souza. Mr. Lionel Jason De Souza, Miss Mahima AR. Miss Mary Sandra Robert, Miss Mega Benny. Miss Mega Kulal, Miss Melissa Ria Dais. Miss Melissa Susan De Souza, Mr. Melroy Sequera. Miss Meryl Menezes, Miss Marin Chaco. Miss Nikita Anna Pramod, Miss Niranjana Abhyadev KP. Miss Prajna Lenisha Montero, Miss Prima Moniz, Miss Primal Sequera, Miss Preeti, Miss Princea Shaima Carlo, Miss Renisha De Souza. Miss Rinu Saju, Miss Riana De Souza, Miss Riona Melisha Fernandez, Miss Rose and Matthew, Miss Rosemi Joby, Miss Sandra Rose George. Miss Chipra Biju, Miss Shreya. Mr. Shine Angelo Fernandez, Miss Sona Mariam Philip. Miss Soundarya Yaste, Miss Sujita Yamman. Miss Sushma Yamem, Miss Sushma Shreyanka De Souza, Miss Sweetie Jocelyn De Souza, Miss Tina K J, Miss Velani Rosita Montero, Miss Vinita Vikshita De Souza. Miss Vivina Michelle Menezes, Mr. Winston Canyot Lobo, Mr. Aston Steve Rodriguez, Miss Malavika Dilip Kumar, Miss Carolyn Sonia Galbo, Miss Mary Sebastian Cheriam Puraddu, 
Mr. Prajwal and Ms. Monica Sneha. Congratulations to all the graduates. Wishing you all the success. Thank you. Thank you, dignitaries. Thank you, Mr. Amishri. Dear graduates, this is a solemn moment in your lives as you set to begin healing and comforting ministry. It is extremely important to carry out your task with utmost dedication, abiding by the ethical and moral principles and upholding the dignity of your profession. Let us now witness the oath taking by our nursing graduates and may I now request our principal to administer the professional nurse's oath. I request the GNM BSc graduates to rise. Kindly put forward your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with dedication. I will serve humankind with love and compassion, recognizing their dignity and rights, irrespective of color, caste, creed, religion, and nationality. I will endeavor to maintain up-to-date knowledge and skill to uphold standard of nursing care to individual, family, and community in all settings and in all aspects of holistic care as a member of the healthcare team. I will hold in confidence personal matters of my clients committed to my care and help them to develop confidence in care rendered by me. I will refrain from any activity that will harm my personal and professional dignity as a nurse. I will actively support my profession and strive towards its develop advancement. I will fulfill my responsibilities as a citizen and encourage change towards better health. Please lower your hand. Kindly shift the tussle of your cap from left to right. Now you are graduates. Congratulations, dear graduates. <laughs> Kindly take your seats. Thank you, sister. Now we have the graduates of PBP MSc and MSc Nursing. And I request Dr. Shiji PJ, professor, to introduce them. And I also request our chief guest and guest of honor to present the certificates. A very good evening to dignitaries on the days of the days. Dear graduates, proud parents, all the faculties. I am here to present before you the graduates of post basic BS nursing 2021 batch. Ms. Ashni Mao, Sister Ajabu Miyaslav. Ms. Alfonsa Agusti, Ms. Alfonsa VM. Ms. Amulia Reynolds, Ms. Anisha Shajan. Ms. Anjali Johnny, Ms. Anne Maria VP. Ms. Arati Sebastian, Mr. Khalid Rodriguez. Ms. Chinno Abraham, Ms. Chippi Krishna. Ms. 
मिस किचकोमरी सेमेक मिस क्रिशल अमृत मिस शरीना काश्मीर मिस दहरिल लूसी मिस डेलिन डिसूसा मिस डेलिटा शानन लोबो मिस दिव्या फ्रांसिस सिस्टर दिव्या वी लोकोस मिस डोना जीजो मिस एवलिया लसरादो मिस हर्षिता मिस हिजाम देवी मिस्टर जॉयल फर्नांडस मिस लक्ष्मी सापो मिस लवीना वेगस मिस लविटा कोरा मिस लिखिता सिस्टर लिसी मिस मरिया चाकोचन मिस मेलिशा डिसूजा मिस मेलिशा जेनिफर डिसूसा मिस निशा प्रीमा लोबो मिस प्रीमा मतायस सिस्टर प्रिया बेन्नी मिस पूनी एलिजाबेथ मिस रेचल डिसूजा मिस रीशल मरीशा डिसोसा मिस रिंचू एल्सा जोस मिस रोशनी विनीता मिरांडा मिस्टर रॉयडन ग्लेन क्लासो मिस्टर शानन लिस्टन पायस मिस शनोला रीमा सिक्वेरा मिस शाइनी डिसोसा मिस शोभा अलमेडा सिस्टर सिसी मरिया मिस सिरसलन महिता मिस स्मिजी जिन्नी मिस स्नेहा सत्यन सिस्टर सोनिया सीजे मिस सौम्या डिसोसा मिस स्टेफी एस फर्नांडिस मिस सुष्मिता डायस मिस टीना नताशा मिस वैश्मा एंड मिस वैसरिल वेरोनिका Now I am happy to present before you the post graduates 2021 batch Mr Santosh M Sister Jisha Vergis Miss Jyotis Baby Sister Binsi KJ Mr Dashin Pratik Philip Miss Sagira Hashmat and sister loyola congratulations dear students wishing you all the bright and successful future as you embark on this new journey thank you thank you ma'am it's time to honor the graduates of college of speech and hearing i request dr usha m to introduce the graduates and i kindly request chief guest 
and guest of honor to present the certificates. I'm delighted to announce the graduates of BASLP. Ms. Anisha Michelle Sequera, Ms. Ashil Melita Fernandez. Ms. Avisha Livia de Souza, Ms. Jenin de Souza. Ms. Pratiksha Rachel Karkada, Ms. Renisha de Souza. Ms. Rachel Melanie Pinto, Ms. Reshma. Ms. Roshni Krasta, Ms. Sandra Maria Lobo. Ms. Smita Prisha de Souza, Ms. Afrin Sheikh Asif. Ms. Alina Mariam Paul, Ms. Anamika AP. Ms. Annette Bastian, Ms. Arangsheri Ishavyan Varghese. Ms. Delna Thomas, Ms. Dona Benny. Ms. Gopika Surindran, Ms. Kripa M. Joy. Ms. Liz Abraham, Ms. Neha Kartikeyan. Ms. Nariksha, Ms. Rimsha Abdul Jalil. Ms. Sanya Ruha, Ms. Sarah Mary Alexander. Mr. Sharon V. Thomas, Ms. Sona Anna Binoch. Mr. Subrakamal Saha. I congratulate all the graduates of BSLP 2020-2021. Thank you, dignitaries. Thank you, ma'am. Let us now witness the vote taking by the graduates of speech and hearing. And may I now request Principal Professor Cynthia Santamayo to administer the professional oath. I request the graduates kindly rise. Dear graduates, stretch your right arm forward and repeat after me. I solemnly my pledge myself before God on this day that I am committed to preserve the highest standard of integrity and ethical principles to the successful discharge of my responsibilities as a speech and hearing professional, I do pledge myself that I will not indulge in any unlawful practices, but consider the welfare of the people to whom the profession is of service and of paramount importance. Lower your arm. We are proud of you, dear graduates. Congratulations and God bless you all. Thank you, ma'am. Now we have the postgraduates from College of Speech and Hearing. And I request Dr. Turn, Ushayam to introduce them. Turn your tassel from left to right. Congratulations. I now announce the graduates of MSc Audiology.
मिस चैत्रा बी के मिस रानिया मिस्टर रोशन एम एम एस सी स्पीच लैंग्वेज पैथोलॉजी सिस्टर जिबिन जेकब मिस मिनोशा आई एस आई वॉन्स अगेन कंग्रेचुलेट ऑल द ग्रेजुएंट्स फॉर ऑल योर फ्यूचर एंड ओवर थैंक यू Thank you, dignitaries, and thank you, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us 227 graduates and their unforgettable moment celebrating their achievements. Today, the field of education has gained new promising additions. Dear graduates, your graduation day is just the beginning of new adventures. It's a new chapter, a new endeavor, and all above a new challenge. Take pride in how far you have come. have faith in how far you can go but don't forget to enjoy the journey be thankful for what you have achieved may god's grace be with you as you step ahead towards your dreams audience please give a big round of applause to all our graduates it is time to salute the alma mater for its enormous effort in molding you into a worthy professional colleges have left no stones unturned in order to give you a value based professional education it has put a foundation stone in your professional career and it will play a major role in every step of your life with due respect to our alma mater let us now join in singing the institutional anthem i request the audience to kindly rise be seated hearty congratulations to all our graduates and post graduates congratulations to all the proud parents and guardians as well on behalf of the graduates i request ms lishmita laurel de souza to express her sentiments and gratitude
ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, honored guests, and my fellow graduates. Today, we stand on the threshold of a momentous occasion, a day that marks the culmination of years of hard work, resilience, and countless moments of triumph and growth. As we gather here to celebrate our achievements and bid farewell to this chapter of our lives, it is both an honor and privilege for me to give students response on this special day. The road towards walking this stage of our lives would have been far more difficult, but our journey to this stage was made smoother by the unwavering support we received from Father Muller Charitable Institutions. The past four, three, and two years at FMCI, particularly in College of Nursing, School of Nursing, and College of Speech and Hearing, have led off a path leading to a promising future for a young healthcare professionals like us. Our colleges have been more than just an alma mater. It has shaped our characters to understand the importance of our calling and showed us a world that needed a caring heart and a healing touch. I thank the principal, vice principal, teaching and non-teaching staff for guiding us through the challenges and illuminating path to success. To our esteemed institution, director and management, facilities provided, resources offered, and the sense of community created within these walls have been indispensable to our journey. Your encouragement and support have been instrumental in our success. We are ever grateful to you. We owe our success to our teachers who went above and beyond to guide us. You are the architects of our intellects. Thank you for helping us cultivate the knowledge, values, and confidence. Each lesson you have imparted has been a stepping stone towards our success. Our time in the hospital taught us more than textbooks ever could. It taught us humility in the face of human fragility, resilience in the wake of adversity, and profound privilege of serving others in their time of need. As we reflect on our clinical experience, I am filled with gratitude for the patients who entrusted us with their care, for the mentors who guided us with wisdom and patience, and for the countless lessons that will shape us as a healthcare professional. As we stand here today, reflecting on our college journey, it's impossible not to acknowledge the integral part the hostel played in shaping our experience. The hostel wasn't just a place to sleep. It was a melting pot of friendships, late night study sessions, and countless memories that have become an inseparable part of our college story. To the warden and hostel staff who worked tirelessly behind the scenes, thank you. To our families and friends, your encouragement has been wind beneath our wings. Your belief in our abilities has been a constant source of strength. Today's achievement is as much yours as it is ours and we carry your support with us into the future. It is essential to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to the remarkable individuals who have been heartbeat of this shared journey, my fellow graduates. The friendship forged within these walls are the treasures we'll carry into the next chapters of our lives. Before I close, I would like to quote something Taylor Swift said which I think would make for some great advice today. Life can be heavy, especially if you try to carry it all at once. Part of growing up and moving into new chapters of your life is about catch and release. You get to pick what your life has time and room for. Hard things will happen to us, 
we will recover we will learn from it we will grow more resilient because of it so graduates let's walk out as a proud mullerians and continue the legacy of father mullers congratulations to all thank you thank you ms lishmita now it is time to honor our meritorious students whose academic performance has been outstanding may i request professor fatima violet fernandez to announce the names of the achievers of school and college of nursing first we shall have the award ceremony of general nursing and midwifery and bsc nursing and i kindly request our guest of honor to do the honors good evening to all respected dignitaries on the days of the days i am happy to announce the academic prizes of annual examination held by karnataka state diploma in nursing examination board bangalore first in the class in the first year jrm prize sponsored by late father p s narona ex director and highest marks in social psychology and sociology goes to ms viani arana highest marks in anatomy and physiology in first year gnm prize sponsored by late sister edmund de souza ex principal goes to mr clivin gonsalves highest marks in fundamentals of nursing in first year gnm prize sponsored by school of nursing almane goes to mr ashwell jason de souza please give a big round of applause to all the awardees highest marks in community health nursing first in first year gnm prize sponsored by late lawrence fernandez ms rima pinto first in the class in second year gnm prize sponsored by father cj mathias and highest marks in medical surgical nursing prize sponsored by late dr jasmuthi modi goes to ms renita de souza highest marks in child health nursing in second year gnm prize sponsored by school of nursing almane goes to mr gansham prasad highest marks in mental health nursing in second year gnm prize sponsored by dr k s shetty goes to ms lobo riona robot first in the class in third year gnm prize sponsored by father l s pais highest marks in midwifery gynecological nursing third year gnm prize prize sponsored by late sister maria teresa fernandez and highest marks in community health nursing second in third year gnm gnm prize sponsored by late lawrence fernandez goes to ms rima de souza highest marks in midwifery gynecological nursing third year gnm prize sponsored by late sister maria teresa fernandez goes to ms elizabeth lalu highest aggregate in gnm prize sponsored by sister apolin monis ex provincial superior of sisters of charity goes to bernie sibo now i am happy to announce the academic prizes of the university examinations held by rajagandhi university of health sciences bangalore prizes sponsored by the alumni association of college of nursing for the students who secured highest marks in annual examinations first in the class in first year bsc nursing miss neva jars highest marks in nursing foundation in first year bsc nursing miss sania dia de souza first in the class in second year bsc nursing miss deepa robert k first in the class in third year bsc nursing highest aggregate in medical surgical nursing second and third year bsc nursing highest in the psychiatry nursing in third year third year bsc nursing miss glenisha fernandez highest marks in pediatric nursing in third year prize sponsored by mr eric and rena in the name of master renever de souza goes to miss roshel oshel sarao first in the class in fourth year bsc nursing 
हाईएस्ट एग्रीगेट इन कम्युनिटी हेल्थ नर्सिंग सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ ईयर बी एस सी नर्सिंग प्राइज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय मिस मिस लीला नायर गोस्ट मिस्टर गणेश बेस्ट अंडर ग्रेजुएट प्रोजेक्ट इज अवॉर्डेड टू गणेश एंड टीम हाईएस्ट मार्क्स इन ओ बी जी नर्सिंग इन फोर्थ ईयर बी एस सी नर्सिंग मिस हेलना थॉमस हाईएस्ट एग्रीगेट इन बी एस सी नर्सिंग प्राइज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय सुपीरियर जनरल सिस्टर्स ऑफ चैरिटी मिस सोना मरिया फिलिप congratulations to all thank you sir now we shall honor our pbbsc and msc nursing awardees and i request our chief guest to felicitate them First in the class in first year PPBSC, Miss Soumya Abraham. First in the class, second year PPBSC, and highest marks in Community Health Nursing in second year sponsored by Mr. Late Mr. Lawrence Fernandez goes to Miss Sanola Rema Sequeira. Highest aggregate in post basic nursing prize sponsored by Superior General Sisters of Charity goes to Miss Melissa Jennifer De Souza. MSc nursing first in the class in first year MSc nursing miss clarita jayel in lobo first in the class in second year MSc nursing and best dissertation in MSc nursing mr santoshiam first in the class in second year MSc nursing miss disha vargis k highest aggregate in MSc nursing sponsored by superior general sisters of charity miss victorious graduates of padamula college of speech and hearing for their outstanding academic achievement may i request dr aju abraham vice principal to announce the names of the achievers of college of speech and hearing i request our chief guests to award the achievers the following students of fathamulla college have brought glory to the institution by their outstanding academic performance ms janine desoza is awarded for securing highest marks in fifth and sixth semesters bachelor in audiology and speech language pathology in the university examination held in the february march 2023 july august 2023 under mangalore university mangalagangotri mangalore ms denin disosa is awarded for securing overall highest marks in first second third fourth and fifth fifth and sixth semesters bachelor in audiology and speech language pathology in the university examinations Ms Rania is awarded a token of appreciation in recognition of academic achievement for securing highest mark in first second third and fourth semesters of master of science in audiology Ms Minusha IS is awarded a token of appreciation in recognition of academic achievement for securing highest mark in first second third and fourth semesters master of Sci- master of science speech language pathology Thank you, sir. Next, we'll have the award rank holders among the graduates, and I request Professor Fatima Violet Fernandez to announce the names of the rank holders of Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. I would like to request our beloved director to honor them. We are proud to announce the names of the student who secured ranks below five in RGHS examinations. Miss Anisha Shahjan secured fifth rank in sociology. Miss Arati Sebastian 5th rank in nursing foundation Miss Chippy Krishnan T 1st rank in introduction to nursing education and 5th rank in nursing foundation Miss Puni Tayovin Elizabeth 5th rank in nutrition and dietetics Miss Rachel Disoza 5th rank in nutrition and dietetics and 5th rank in microbiology Miss Shanola Rima Sequeira 2nd rank in sociology Miss Paolo Almeida 4th rank in nursing foundation Miss Steffi S Fernandez 4th rank in nutrition and dietetics
I am also proud to announce our fatherless college of nursing athletes who brought Rores to the college. Ms. Jessica De Souza secured gold medal in 100 meters in national athlete meet at New Delhi. Mr. Abel Joseph, Mr. Alan Gomes, Mr. Jasmin Ashley Pinto, and Jesse Dissouza secured silver medal in 4 into 100 relay at National Athlete Meet at New Delhi. Congratulations students to your great achievement. Thank you father, thank you ma'am. Our achievements are shaped by the strength and foundation we set. Well now it's time to award the student who have made a difference by being the best through their achievements. So to announce the same, the award of excellence I call upon Dr. Aju Abraham, Vice Principal. And I humbly request our President, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sadana, our Director, to do the honours and felicitate them. Also, I request the dignitaries to join. I am happy to announce the Overall Excellence Award in BSc Nursing donated by Father Dennis Disa in memory of Ms. Mary Disa goes to Ms. Lishmida Laurel de Sosa. Overall Excellence Award in GNM, founded by Superior General, Sisters of Charity, goes to Ms. Adeline Ayrel Pereira. Best Outgoing Student of the Year 2020-2024 in Bachelor in Audiology and Speech-Language Pathology is awarded to Ms. Anisha Michael Sequeira. you all we would like to honor our guests on behalf of the institutions I request the president and our director to do the honors by presenting a memento the chief guest dr. avs Ramesh Chandra The guest of honor, Professor U.T. Iftika Farid. Thank you, dignitaries.
the culmination of this day has been possible because of the efforts of so many minds and hands put together. Gratitude is a divine emotion which warms the hearts. So now I invite Dr. Agnes E.J., Vice Principal, to propose the vote of thanks. Your Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, dignitaries on and off the dais, graduates, parents and guardians, guests, faculty, staff and students. Greetings of this great eventful day. As we come to the closure of graduation ceremony, on behalf of Father Muller School and College of Nursing and Father Muller College of Speech and Hearing, I am privileged and delighted to acknowledge and thank all those who are involved in conducting this grand event. First of all, I bow down in gratitude before God Almighty for His abundant blessings upon these mighty institutions and each one of us. A compassionate shepherd, visionary leader and a role model of spirituality is our beloved Bishop of Bangalore Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, the President of Father Mullah Charitable Institutions and President of this ceremony. I express heartfelt gratitude to the Lordship for your gracious presence and inspirational message. Thank you, dear Lordship. <clears throat> An icon who climbed the ladder of success with hard work, discipline, resolute dedication and tenacious persistence and reached the esteemed position is our Chief Guest, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, New Delhi. Sincere thanks to you, sir, for accepting our invitation, gracing this occasion, and inspiring the graduates with your motivational speech. Thank you, sir. A person with vast knowledge, Experience and professionalism is our guest of honor, Professor U.T. Iftikar Farid, Dr. M. V. Shetty College of Physiotherapy, Mangaluru, and Syndicate member, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore. Special thanks to you, sir, for inspiring us with your presence and speech. Your presence has brought joy to us. I owe a deep sense of appreciation and gratitude to our beloved director, whose vision, clear goals and unwavering commitment has been instrumental in the growth of Father Muller Charitable Institutions. Thank you, dear Father, for your presence and welcome address. I sincerely thank our beloved principals of School and College of Nursing and College of Speech and Hearing, Professor Sister Jacinda D'Souza and Professor Cynthia Sanmayor for your inspiring assertions dedication and energetic passion in hosting this event. Thank you, dear sister and madam. I am grateful to the administrators and assistant administrators of the colleges and hospitals, spiritual animators, governing board members, members of Centenary Charitable Society, advisory and management committee members, former administrators, principals, invitees and guests, for your graceful presence, unwavering support and guidance every time. Thank you all. Sincere thanks to the Vice Principal, College of Speech and Hearing, Medical Superintendent and Chief Nursing Officer. Heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to you, dear parents and guardians of graduates. This is one of the milestones in your world's journey of life and it was possible for them only because of your love, concern and support. Thank you, dear parents and guardians. I acknowledge, appreciate and thank the conveners of graduation ceremony, chairpersons of the committees, MCs, faculty, office staff, bandmaster and volunteers for your dedication, coordination and collaboration for making this event a success. Thank you, Ms. Lismita, for graduates' response. 
heartfelt gratitude to Purna Kumpa, Prayer Song and Band Team. Special thanks for logistical support, videography and photography. IT Department, Transport, Security, Catering Service, Press and Media for your cooperation and coordination. Finally, I thank the graduates for making this campus lively. As you move on, may our Lord shower his choicest blessings upon each one of you and may your dreams come true. May you be inspired by the motto of heal and comfort wherever you provide your service. Remember your alma mater when you reach the heights of success and keep in touch. Once again, sincere thanks to each one of you present here. May Lord bless each one of us. Have a great evening ahead. Thank you, madam. As we have come to the end of the ceremony, we request you all to rise for the national anthem. the recession of dignitaries. Audience, please remain standing as the dignitaries leave the auditorium. Audience, please be seated for a minute as we would like to draw your attention to few announcements regarding the refreshments arrangements at Millardine, which is situated in the first floor below the hall. For our dignitaries and special guests, the refreshments will be served in the VIP lounge. Invitees, guests, press and media, please report to the counter in white. So the invitees, guests, press and media will go to the counter in white. All the faculties will go to the counter in purple. The BSEs, both of College of Nursing and College of Speech and Hearing, will go to the counter in maroon along with your parents. 